Welcome everyone to another open source update video. Firefox 100 is about to be released. The source code is there. The builds, Henry builds for all the architectures, uh, operating systems we're not interested in. Not yet. So let's, of course, uh, also try to <coughs> kind of sort of build it from source. Actually, we should quickly check that before we go through the features because no time. Let's waste no time. Uh, which would this be? Hot fix, maybe. All oh, right, FVAPI, maybe. Let's hope that freaking build. So, what is new? Uh, there, it's of course so new. It's not yet listed on the Firefox website. Well, does it have release notes? But we can use the uh, nightly release notes here. So, now support with captions, subtitle display on YouTube. Also, the, the thing is, the crazy thing is recurring theme. I would actually be more thrilled if browsers would have been faster HTML rendering, faster CSS processing, faster JavaScript and so on. But all we get is uh, support for captions and subtitle display on YouTube, Prime Video, all this stuff it still fails now. So like like of all the stuff, also yeah, priorities, right? Priorities 2022, um, watching videos <coughs> like ours here. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Just turn uh, something, whatever, picture, picture for video caption website that support web, VTTT, web. Yeah, so yeah, 2022, right? There, there, of course, there is web, VTT, web video text track formats. Like, yeah, thank you very much for all the spell check. It also supports multiple di di uh, language dictionaries. <laughs> it's like stuff you wanted 20 years ago. Hardware isolated AV1 video decoding, however, only for Windows, because now YOLO, whatever, probably. Scribbles on Lin Linux and Windows 11.0 no, won't take space by default. Probably controversial change. Also, yeah, major features, right? Scroll bars in 2022, <laughs> in case you were wondering why we can't have nice things. Um, and Firefox also supports credit card autofill captures in the UK. It's like, what? Why is that even a feature and stuff? But to summarize that, nothing really newsworthy, really actually kind of sad. Of course, under the hood, there are more changes. HTML, so like, yeah, certainly bug fix. I find it a little bit um, for a 1000 employee company, I would ex foundation, I would expect a little bit of for sure there are some bug fixes. Or may probably they mean no notable. Uh, yeah, okay, so no, not no changes, no notable changes. Of, of course, there will be with probably a million lines of code touched. And it's also crazy, right? Probably a million lines of code touched. We can actually diff that in a second. It's like, yeah, all you get is web v. TT um, or VVT, credit card autofill, multiple spell checking dictionaries, and no notable HTML changes. In case you were wondering how the web development is going, CSS, however, new media feature of dynamic range, video dynamic range, not supported. Um, JavaScript also no notable changes. And also, yeah. However, removals non-standard large allocation HTTP header has been removed. It's like what even was that? Probably actually we could check that probably. APIs, some writable streams and stuff, DOM, document object model of code now, user static, um, that returns a board signal, can be used to automatically board an operation timeout error, whatever, something. But lo and behold, WebAssembly now supports exceptions. What everyone, uh, zero cost, uh, the, the running gag in computer science, zero cost, IA64 itanium exceptions. <coughs> Uh, that are neither zero cost nor in titanium, but something like that now supported in WebAssembly can be called in WebAssembly or JavaScript or other runtimes and cross between the moment spawn there is if not handled the JavaScript representation WebAssembly and exceptions are yeah, exceptions. You guessed it. Uh, large location, what, what's a freaking deprecated? Yes, yeah, so the response header tells the browser that the page being loaded is going to want. To perform a large allocation, not implemented conversions, any browser, but is harmless to center any browser. What the heck? Even megabytes? Oh, are you kidding me? It's like, yeah, web stuff so large, you need a freaking annotation of, hey, this stuff will be large. Like, yeah. Anyway, hey, zero reprints. So let's, let's see what's going on there. Let's try to build this for our T2, just open source raw Linux. Let's see what's going on there, of course. It's like, yeah, so little changes, of course, under the hood. I'm very sure we will do this in a second. A million lines of code easily changed. And of course, it doesn't build anymore. What's It could be my fault, though. Let's see. 
monster not yellowing of um, what duplicity what the heck uh, it's uh, what's going on here Okay, this might be partially. Let's let's auto, uh, let's reconf that I I should not have. I should have known better. Ah, oh, wait, did I do this right? Probably I did. I maybe I uh, maybe the config wasn't valid, valid of uh, switching between trunk and version tag. Let's see if that is going better. If that is the case, then we wasted some time now. Nothing that is. No, it still doesn't build. So is it still okay? This is. Hmm. Okay, what's going on here? If there's one thing I really hate, but this is somehow strange. What the heck is even? Let's try to natively build that locally just for test. We could, to prove a point, diff that. Source, of course, if so. This does. Did I update Firefox? Uh, Python? I don't think I updated this. I really hate that each time I freaking build that. Maybe that. Um, between the cases is. P check to verify compatibility between the system Python and the Mach side. I think we had something like that before that is getting so tiring. Mm. No, what, but Python works in general because that is Python. It looks to me um, that they really, this is so annoying, right? Of all the complexity, million lines of code changed and They, uh, the most travel build environment stuff just because they freaking needs to, need to use this bloody Python. And also, yeah, complexity, right? So they, we use a script language for um, simplicity and ease and stuff. And um, did I not download that? Did we, why is that not there? Am I on the right machine? Should have been there. Hmm. Yeah, whatever, we will see in a second. Um, let's div that just to see how large it really is. Or don't tell me I'm... Ah, you know what, I am in the wrong tree though. Why did I do that? That explains part of the thing. Ah, always live on this channel. Could that be the reason for more breakage though? Hmm. A second. Uh, welcome there. Um, but to compare for it, it's much easier as G Streamer, for example. What exactly do you mean? Uh, G Streamer of Firefox. Mm. Firefox is one of the most complex packages. Well, there, there is stuff that is even more annoying. Firefox is actually pretty annoying to build. Um, However, Chrome is even more annoying, or OpenOffice, LibreOffice. It is uh, hilarious, actually. So, so, Yeah, somehow, to me, most of those web APIs, like, I mean, yeah, web v, VT, I mean, maybe this should simply be done with custom JavaScript. It's, it's somehow ridiculous that we need, like, standards for this, for each thing. I mean, it's, if we need, 
a custom standard for each and everything then somehow somehow defeats the point of general purpose web programming. So I, I would guesstimate usually that's a million lines of code which is crazy or something of or like a third 300. Yeah, so this this has like hundred thousand lines of more code, which is of course crazy for the number of features here. And this is how this usually state prefix session that is accessible. This is just Android. Let's try that again in the right tree. Not that it should matter that much. So we need as we in RM this one patch for sure. So this is how this usually looks. C++ code for the most part. In 2022 we still fiddle with thread stuff. Yeah, so much to um, so I mean, this is crazy that 330,000 lines of code, like basically, yeah, 270,000 lines kind of touched. Of course, deletion is, I mean, if you change one typo there, this is already like one line, right? So this is not like like really deleted if you're new to this stuff. 10, 10 or nearly 11,000 files changed, 100,000 lines of new code. And yeah, this does indeed break the same way. That is extremely, extremely time wasting. And the the actual outcome here are those kind of changes. This is crazy. I mean, for sure they don't document each bug change, which obviously are many. But yeah, okay. So they they have here some. It's also crazy, right? They so much changed so much that it doesn't even just build anymore. This is. A recurring waste of time here, um, so a recurring source of my depression. Um, so it, it's probably that problem um, issue here that this is deprecated. Um, okay, it probably maybe it's maybe this is exactly. Maybe it's explicitly erroring out with that, obviously. Um, so we wanted, so the thing is we, what we actually don't want, because this already takes so long to build and we don't want to mess around with more Python stuff. I mean, we want to build Firefox and not a custom Python environment. This is why we probably said that. Um, native package source. Um, I guess we want to try that. Of course, we should read the freaking documentation, which there might be none. Um, but it's also for me, it is crazy that they have nothing better to do than constantly change that. I mean, all I want to do is build Python and not um, build a Python environment just to build a freaking Firefox browser. Yeah, that it is not okay. So this is I. This needs. It looks like this needs significantly more guru meditation. And what did I build? Actually, I built that. This is so sad. Yeah, 2022. You can't even just rebuild your Firefox without major Python enablement. That is. Oh wait, what did I? Uh, oh no, wait, what did I? What should I do here? Ah. Continue to mess. Yeah, so this is a. Usually we don't mess it up like that. This is mostly because I'm working here with stable release. Oh, wait a second. Don't tell me this is still. Oops. Oh, yeah, it's, it's switched to. But I'm pretty sure this will not just build adjustments, it's consistent. That, um, yeah, it is huge. A freaking web browser is freaking huge. 
uh, Luther, Luther compiled Chromium a couple of days ago, it took quite a while and used 100 gigs on the PC and object files. F did long time ago and it was not PC. Yeah, a long time, I mean, even a long time ago, it was one of the big packages. Uh, no space on tempfs and SSD because. But even even a decade ago, it was the biggest package, right? Except only in T2, it, Firefox, I mean, it's a freaking operating system uh, in your browser. And it was always like the biggest package, like if not maybe counting the Linux kernel. And only led by um, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, LibreOffice, does it build now or? I don't know what have we done. Let's double check that this is really necessary after we screwed so much stuff up. I should. Yeah, that is the complexity of release. You, you're in the middle of release maintaining, and uh, I, I have already, like, for sure, a handful of working copies. It certainly doesn't help to mess them up on live on YouTube. If you wouldn't have screwed up, yeah, maybe I should kind of. I have too many working copies. I have too many working copies with too many freaking changes. And now, unfortunately, maybe what we could do, we could stop the live stream and let this build. This will build on a epic freaking Threadripper Ryzen uh, 5950X, 96 gigs of memory. This will build, I think, 15 minutes, if not 20, if it doesn't break with something. Um, actually, you know what? We could actually continue working. Uh, G streamer, so data, our bot, previous video is doing some updates here. So far, so good. We could actually, let's, uh, let's actually continue, or actually, let's, um, let's make a new live stream just to uh, groups a little bit, because otherwise the topics are so much and then people get disappointed with 20 or 40 minute long videos, because this was already of course, 20 minutes. So if you're into Linux de development, we can continue another 20 minutes doing some installer scripting stuff. And otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe. Leave me a comment what you liked and disliked. And otherwise, hope to see you soon for more videos and live streams to come.